Hey there, welcome back to Foxtech, your go-to channel for tech tips and solutions. In today's video, we'll be exploring how to use Dropbox on your iPhone. There are two methods we'll discuss throughout this video. Let's get started and discover how to make the most of Dropbox on your iPhone. The first method involves using the web version of Dropbox, but it's not the most stable or user-friendly option, so we'll quickly move on to the second method. If you decide, however, to use the web version of Dropbox, it's important to note that it's not the most reliable or user-friendly experience. It's more of a backup method, and you'll likely be prompted to install the official Dropbox app. Using this, you can view your files, but it's not as pleasurable to use. So let's focus on the second method, which involves downloading the Dropbox app from the App Store. The Dropbox app is free to download, and I highly recommend using it instead of the web version. While there are subscription plans available for additional features like more storage, 2TB, priority support, file recovery within 30 days rewind, and smart syncing, the free version is more than sufficient for storing your files. Once you have the Dropbox app installed, you can easily upload files to your Dropbox storage. Simply open the app and tap the plus button located at the bottom center of the screen. This will allow you to select the files you want to upload from your iPhone's storage. Additionally, you can upload files directly from other apps by tapping the share button and selecting Dropbox as the destination. On the other hand, if you want to download files from Dropbox to your iPhone, it's just as simple. Navigate to the file you wish to download within the Dropbox app, then tap on it. Next, tap the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen and select Export. From there, you can choose to save the file directly to your iPhone's storage or share it with others. Organizing your files in Dropbox is a breeze. You can create folders to group related files together, making it easy to find what you need. Additionally, Dropbox's search function allows you to quickly locate specific files by typing in keywords or file names. Collaborating with others is also seamless, as Dropbox offers a sharing features that enable you to work together on files and projects. And that's it. That's how you can use Dropbox on your iPhone. It's a simple and efficient way to store access and share your files. Remember, the Dropbox app is the way to go, and the free version provides more than enough functionality for most users. So why not give it a try and experience the convenience of having your files accessible wherever you go? Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use Dropbox on your iPhone. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Foxtech for more useful tech-related content. Your support means a lot to us. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials, and as always, peace.